Hi guys, commonly called Cliff here. Um, okay, so just spent a really interesting uh, half an hour listening to the absolute rubbish of the Jeremy Vine show, um, which is about uh, electric magnetic frequency sensitive people and f the fears over 5G. Now, first of all, half an hour is never enough time. Uh, even, you know, you can't, you can't mention uh, what you need to mention on a show like that in five minutes. It's ridiculous. So that's you. We were never going to get good information from that show uh, anyhow. Um, so when I called when I called the call center, I had a woman on there really nice. And she said that loads and loads of people have phoned in with uh, uh, horror stories or EMF sensitivities and, and, the, and the stuff that happened to them and their illnesses and stuff. So there was loads, you know, there's a big turnout there. Uh, that wasn't mentioned on his show. Um, so number number two. So uh, I'm, yeah. So number two. Straight off the get go, Jeremy Vine uses a weaponized language, which was what did he say? He said people w with electric magnetic frequencies, basically they're saying they're making it up. And then he he said it likened to a uh, tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist. Now that's a derogatory term uh, for anybody who's got any information that doesn't fit in with um, the state's view or the government's view, well, it, it's the same thing, or uh, a, a particular uh, corporation's view, uh, that's it. So straight from the get-go, he's, he's, he's likening to people with electric magnetic frequencies uh, as being tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists. Now, that's where I kind of switched off. At the I really just kind of switched off there. It was like, okay, and I realised I wasn't going to get on this show. There was no way I was going to be on this show. Um, so then what they did is they brought in an MP. They didn't bring in uh, a doctor, a medical doctor or a professor or any, any of the multitude of people that they could have brought in from. I mean, let's see what we've got here from Fire Medical. We've got 5G Appeal. We've got Bioinitiative.org, EHTrust.org, um, FireMedical.org. Any, any. If they, if he'd have called at any one of those organisations, I'm sure they would have give uh, a spokesman who knew what they were talking about regarding non-ionising ra ra radiation, and um, he didn't. So they had an, an MP that, bless him, wasn't very clear. You know, it wasn't a very clear message, and then two. Two people talking about um, their severe reactions, and bless them. I hope they uh, find a way through that. Um, so, I mean, and even the second woman, um, they, they, they made a mockery out of her, saying, you know, she had some sort of genital um, issue with it. That, that felt um, really disingenuous to mention that on the, on the national radio show. It felt like they was taking the piss out of her. Um, that wasn't good. And and so to another point, so. Who is that professor guy? Who who is he, and what planet is he from? Yeah, what planet is he from? And he should he needs to get a life out of the uh, industry which is paying for him because he's not independent at all. Anyone independent says there's evidence going both ways, perhaps. But the you know to say that there's no evidence, uh, a, a complete sham, absolutely a complete sham. He's a paid off insider, absolutely. And who is that guy? And if anyone has the information, I think we should put it onto the 5G sites and bombard him with uh, the facts and find out who he's paid for and, you know, get that information out. What what, what a, an abuse of uh, a, a so-called professor's um, a qualification. OK, go and do your research, guy. You know, he's not going to. He's there to do what he's doing. So disingenuous and fake. So that was this professor from God knows where and who knows what. He probably isn't even real. Uh, and so so they do that. And then they bring this other guy on. I mean, where on earth do they pull these people from? I mean, if, if the mainstream people are listening to him, I mean, and, and they think that his view is fine, well, how is it fine to lock people who are electric magnetic frequency sensitive and lock them in a room and test them on it? You know, and, and bombard them with EMF, you know, frequencies. And as, as a matter of fact, that's what's happening to all of us right now. We're all being bombarded in an experiment um, with electromagnetic frequencies, with a untested, unregulated technology, which is actually harming us all on a cellular level on a daily basis. So how, how, how ridiculous. And to also, not only was the, were they knocking um, 
EMF sensitive people, but also they're knocking the re reality of chemtrails or high aerosol spraying and saying that that's a conspiracy too. I mean, that if you wanted to look on, I think it's the parliamentary records on the library, you'll see that they talked about this and, and had a paper on this um, very thing in 2006, I think it was, or 2008. It's online. You can check it out. High aerosol spraying on um, parliamentary records. And they're actually, the British Parliament are regulating this industry. They were talking about the harms and the things of this. They are actually doing it. Why would it be there uh, on the regulations? And it's in Parliament. You can see they're doing it. And all you have to do, actually, is look in, into the sky uh, for five seconds and realise that, that that's not condensation trail um, that doesn't disappear because steam in cold disappears. But these don't. I mean, it's obvious. It's, it's a liquid. It's a, it's, a fi it's a mist. It's a spray. Anyway... So, yeah, I'm incensed and, and, and I'm just doing this video because I to write this down um, yeah, would be too much to type this out would be too much. But um, I'm incensed and it for me, it just goes to show we we in the 5G uh, stop 5G campaigning, we cannot re rely on uh, mainstream uh, news outlets and media to put any information out. In fact, it would be the opposite. It's kind of a waste of time going to them because they're going to spin it as a conspiracy theorist. So. And, you know, anyone who who has uh, really severe uh, electric magnetic frequency sensitives or even less severe, they're making you out to be making it up. You know, you're going to need to get your head tested. Um, you know, there's no science behind it when actually there really is. So you can see what we're up against. But uh, uh, what a waste of my time. But uh, uh, unless it's to see that it would be a waste of time. So just. You know, this is a message to you guys uh, to let you know that we can't use those sorts of organisations. And and we need to be really educated. And if we're going to go to any radio shows and do stuff, we, you know, and, and to point this out, we need to know what we're talking about and give give facts uh, and and give and give facts from doctors names and from um, from research papers and stuff. Um, what, Jeremy Vine show. What a waste of time. British Brainwashing Corporation. You know, a for-profit corporation that makes money. Uh, it's it's not about people and truth. So, yeah, I think once people wake up to that, um, you know, maybe we can get somewhere. Anyway, I'm signing off. Thank you for <laughs> kind of listening to my rant, but I'm kind of incensed by um, the sheer stupidity and the weaponized language of what's supposed to be. Uh, uh, this is supposed to be one of the most responsible shows on the BBC, and. You know, it's completely biased. So go figure. Why why listen to it? Why pay it any attention at all? I, I'm, I'm, I'm not listening to that uh, paid off cretin. Uh, I can't call them anything else. Um, totally disingenuous. And maybe maybe someone in his family will be electric magnetic frequency sensitive. And then, yeah, he'll change his mind. Maybe he will be. So anyway. Okay. Thanks for listening to my rant, guys.